Okay, today we'll be opening up the Subaru oil filter number 15208AA12A and this Ryko oil filter number Z436. And I got this Subaru oil filter on eBay, but I got this Ryko oil filter for free from a very generous viewer whose name is Paul from Perth, Western Australia. Yep, and for the majority of my viewing audience, that's all the way on the other side of our planet. You're definitely the new winner of the Long Distance Award. Wow. Thanks, Paul. Paul has sold his Subaru, but he used to use this Ryko oil filter on his 2003 Subaru Forester. Yep, the one with a 2.5 liter engine. Paul bought another vehicle that he also sent an oil filter for, which will be in next Friday's video. But today, these two filters are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. It's just a network. You got a blue gun set down. Get nice and tight. Get your hand up here. Filtration. Okay, let's start with this Subaru oil filter. And it comes sealed in this plastic wrap. The date code A21592. And we'll look right here. Made in USA. And it has this O ring style gasket. See, it fits right in this groove. And this filter has 10 inlet holes, metal core with holes, bypass valve down below, about three grooves there for threads. Okay, and let's look at the Ryko oil filter. Look at the box here. Anti drain back valve, new vehicle warranty protected. And look over here, you'll see made in China to Ryko specification. Okay, that's about all there is on this box. So let's take a look at the filter. Date code 190403. And this one also has a seal on the filter, base plate. And the Ryko has eight inlet holes. It looks to be a silicone and drain back valve. Metal core with holes, bypass valve down below. And about four grooves there for threads. And nitro rubber gasket, which is on there pretty good. There's Pretty thick also. This is all printed on also. Got some instructions right here. Okay, let's take these two filters, open them up and uh, see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open, let's get their weights. The Subaru weighs 155.9 grams. The Ryko weighs 205.4 grams. Let's take a look at the gaskets. They're two different style of gaskets, but I'll put the measurement up on the screen. You now it's an O-ring style gasket. Yeah, they look like they both do a good job. And the base plates, the Ryko, 89.2 grams. The Subaru, 77.9 grams. And you can see the Ryko's got more threads, more grooves there for threads. The inlet holes, they might even out because the Ryko's got bigger holes, two less holes, but bigger. And you got silicone, any drain back valve for the Ryko, nitro rubber for the Subaru. And those look like they do a good job at covering up the holes, inlet holes. Okay, filter elements. Take a look at the Ryko. 52.4 grams, Subaru, 27.4 grams. Let's take a look at the Subaru filter. You got a metal crimp seam, and the Subaru filter has 50 pleats. They're not badly spaced except for right here. It's kind of a big gap there. Okay, and you got your fiber end caps. And I got this on O'Reilly's website. This says cellulose media, that's what it says, but I have no micron rating. And let's take a look at the Ryko oil filter. Metal crimp seam, counted 60 pleats, metal end caps, bypass valve right here. 
And on Ryko's website, it says this is 99% at 32 microns. But they don't tell you what it, what the filter media is made out of. So I'll put that up on the screen. You can see the bypass valve there. There's a lot of glue in there. But that looks like the harder glue, the cream. They're kind of like a, not the black glue, but almost like a cream colored glue. And the Subaru filter has this kind of bypass valve. And the Ryko filter has a coil spring. Let's check out the cans. The Ryko weighs 49.7 grams. Subaru weighs 33.1 gram. Now let's get some measurements. Now it's measuring just the tip of these guys because it's hard to get in there and get them good. But the, yeah, it's about 0.44. That's what I was getting earlier for the Subaru. It's a lot thinner than the, the Ryko oil filter. The Ryko oil is getting about 0.64. Yeah, it's pretty close enough, 0.66. Definitely tell the difference here. And the Subaru oil filter is 1.46 inches wide. And the Ryko oil filter is 1.15 inches wide. So you got more pleats on the Ryko, but it's not as wide. And I really can't go any wider. I mean, there's glue inside here, see? So I can't take it from end to end. I know a lot's getting cut out there, so it's kind of like not totally fair. But anyways, uh, let me cut these open, stretch them out, and see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are both stretched out. And the Subaru oil filter is 55 and a half inches long. And the Ryko filter is 61 inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on these guys. Subaru filter is 1.15 millimeters thick. And the media on the Ryko filter is 0 0.80 millimeters thick. So, the Subaru filter is a little bit thicker. There's the filtering side, the back side. And if we take a look at the microscope picture, both filters look like they do a pretty good job of filtering. So let's take a look at that picture right now. So as you can see, they both look like they do a pretty good job of filtering. The Subaru has about 10 extra square inches of filter media. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So the gaskets, I'd give them a tie. You know, they're both, they both look like they're pretty good gaskets. The base plate and the anti-drain back valve I have to give to the Ryko. Got silicone versus nitro rubber. And this is, a, I guess, a matter of preference whether you like the spring or the stamp leaf spring combo valves which uh I'm gonna see show you this up close in case you guys notice this it looks like it, it looks like it was scruffed up see that because earlier when I was editing the video I noticed it looked like paint on there but that's just it's like scratched up they both got holes for the center cores you got metal end caps versus the fiber end caps the can I have to give to the right go. It's a thicker can. And I want to mention this to you guys. See the you can see all the glue there, but it doesn't it doesn't stop the uh bypass valve from operating at all. You know, even though there's a lot of glue there. And it's that harder glue. It's, an, it's not the soft soft glue. See? It's, it's nowhere near it, so it's it's all fine. So what do you guys think about this right go oil filter? And again, I want to thank Paul for sending me this Ryko oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The Subaru filter media weighs 
13.3 grams. The Ryko filter media weighs 10.1 grams. 